about the the sort of the imaginary lineup because it seems like Shopsy he's just so good that maybe he's making like everyone else look a little bit bad. But if they can make it all work and um, then it's I think they have a fantastic team. So uh, so it'd be interesting to see if they could do that. And they want to swap. Actually, they want to start on the terrorist side. So that's not too unusual for Dust Two, I suppose, Albert. We've seen that before. People preferring to play yeah. the terrorist side on Dust. Here's me getting some new drink. So everyone is readying up, guys. If you're just joining us, you are watching the podcast. My name is Anders, and co-hosting with me, as always, is Albert, of course. And um, you are going to be watching said nation up against the imaginary on Dust Two in the Star Series, and uh, it looks like that's going to be a go. Imaginary starting off on the terrorist side, and said nation on the on the CT side, and. Um, I don't know, it's always the pistol round, uh, always interesting I think, and um, and a lot of fun stuff can happen here. No one opting to shoot through the middle wow. seas, it's actually waiting for them, but... Happy birthday Uzi. Oh, it's Uzi's birthday. Almost makes you uh, makes you wish that he'd win. Kibarkin okay, actually pushing up aggressively here with evil, they will take one and two down. Look, the aggressive push from Set Nation, what a fantastic way to defend on the CT side in a pistol round. I have to absolutely applaud that. And a great grenade out outcoming, and they've got a Molotov cocktail. Look at it. I'm pretty sure that was. Uh, they picked that up. They must have. There we go. Shock two with one and two kills, but ceased coming right back into it, taking the last players down. And that's an early round for Set Nation. That strategy was brilliant. So yeah. Did, did you see if they boosted up? Like. I didn't actually see that. I think they may. They must have done surely to catch. Uh, to catch imaginary self guard. So that's really cool. Yeah, but I mean, even if they didn't, they, they did manage to, to put up two people here on short and then two people through the middle. And that, that was just a complete surprise for Imaginary, not something they saw coming. I really do love that strategy and uh, kind of a simple one, but also one that worked brilliantly. So an early lead and just pistols on Imaginary at the moment. So definitely uh, definitely looking good straight off Set Nation. And I suppose they, if they could use like an early boost, of a sort of morale boost, now that they've lost against ESC. You know, to just clear up that and say, okay, now it's a new game and we're still really good players, so uh, let's get it on. I think that's uh, that's always nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a really nice headshot with the M4 from uh, just in the top gap. Yeah, it really was. And, um, I don't know, Uzi, the birthday boy, will get a bit of damage in the fly, but not, not something that's too significant. They're actually lined up great down here. I'm going to have to check a look at that. That was really fun to see. They are lined up so that they are in the, like in a row. If anyone walks out there, there would have been okay. Now they move, but there would have been three people looking down the middle if someone had walked out then, because they were on the catwalk, on the box, and then down on the ground and all looking at the same angle. Here we go into B. Ceased will actually go down to our striker, but uh, a fly will be defending that site pretty, really um, fantastic. And our striker is the only one alive, so I will get oh, another what? kill. Let's get another kill. Our striker. Maybe he's turned his life around. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's tired of all the the Oz striker jokes that people sometimes do. But he will go down in the end to Kipak, and not too surprising, and that's going to make it 2-0 for uh, for Set Nation early on. Now let's see if the Im if Imaginary, they want to buy something, and they do actually, even an AWP that Oz striker bought, but I'm assuming maybe MS is going to pick that up. Look, actually shooting it all the way over there. Oh no, it went too far. <laughs> Great that you can do that, but um, just a bit too far now. Let's see through the middle. Look how aggressive they are. Set Nation down in the tunnels, but Major is waiting for them. There were two people there, and he actually turned around. Didn't expect Siege, uh, Siege to be uh, right in after him. So four on four at the moment. And they might be able to do a. No, actually, Siege. He's falling back out, and we'll get down Shoxi, and that's an important player to kill. Or Striker coming in here, and maybe finding Kibak, and yes, he will. Oh, wow. Imaginary looking so good. Yeah, man. I mean, they're so cheeky because Ostriker doesn't have armor and neither does MSZ, but they're uh, looking like they might even be able to take this round if they can get themselves in a good position where Z Nation are, are split up and not, not ready to defend. But yeah, absolutely. Here we go. If Uzi he can get the, this player in the pit, that will be really important. And MS is also there. He's looking the other way. They need to check oh, the pit. Yeah. Oh, and there they so go. Patient. Actually, headshot straight oh, on. Wow. And the AWP as well, bringing down the AWP of MSH sets. Yeah, that's, that's a, that was a bit of a disaster, and Seast will actually take down our striker. 
So that was a good start for the round for Imaginary, but they couldn't actually bring it back, even though it was 3 on 3. And um, unfortunate when you take the gamble and try, kind of buy in that third round, you really want to win it. Otherwise, uh, I don't know, you just throw yourself into a bit of an unstable and fluctuating economy. And we all know what that's like. Nobody wants to have that happen. An error with a kill on MS in the middle. Just pistols on Imaginary at the moment, but still always good fun to uh, to get that for early kill on in the middle. Now it looks like they want to actually rush the middle. Uzi's out there with his Glock. We'll get taken down by Fly and uh, not really too much coordination at the moment. Ostriker is still in there, but it looks like he will get taken down as well. They're kind of going all over the place. Major jumping out. We'll try and get back and down, but it's obviously not going to work. And uh, Shoxi will finally get a kill in the middle. And even an M4, so if he can get more kills with this, that will really be great because that will make a real difference, but um, he won't do it. Seast will take him down in the end, so a really good round for Set Nation, and they're off to a great start, Albert. They actually are, man. And I kind of didn't realize that Zed Nation deserves so much credit because they're actually 4 and 1 in SRTB so far, so. Yeah, people have really been uh, uh, talking a lot of good about them, and. Uh, yeah, totally. Maybe Train just wasn't their map, or maybe ESC were just a lot stronger today than we were expecting, but they are a good team and they're definitely showing at the moment. And it's up to Imaginary now to see if they can get uh, a good entrance into either of these bomb sites. They haven't been able to find one yet, so um, that's always painful when you don't quite know what the key is to defeating a team and um, see what they're gonna do. They are flashing out over on long, and uh, Arrow actually completely fast. We'll get the kill on. That was incredible. Shangxi actually jumping down in the pit, and even some smoke coming out. But Arrow, man, he didn't care at all. Got that AWP kill off, and maybe that's what. Uh, that's what Set Nation can do in this round. I mean, they didn't buy very many AWPs against the ESC, so maybe they just thought Train wasn't really yeah. a map to do that on, but that's to, uh, you know, a legendary oh, really map great for the... oh. oh There we God. go, Uzi! Um, dude, that was so funny, because Major didn't even see Evil, he just ran right over his head. Oh, really? Yeah, I just managed to see that in the end, Auto Director just switching me back a little bit slower. Our striker with a kill. Oh, sorry. Dude, he's nice. on fire. Yeah, and now it's actually three on two, so um if I they... if they're gonna realize that Oh yeah, Major's looking behind. Oh but he's retreating. Yeah, they just wanna plant the bomb and then cover that position rather than try and find it out with them, and I can definitely see uh why they wanna do that. Some flashes coming in and uh Uzi's in a, he's in a great position waiting behind this crate. Actually won't get the kill the first time, but maybe he can make it a third one. Oh, he will get shot down by flying, so really nice work. Patience coming in here. And now they're smoking it up. Oh no, that smoke landing wrong. Arrow will get the kill oh, onto wow. Major. Now MS versus Arrow, oh, and who's probably. gonna get this? MS, he desperately needs it. Dude, Arrow's just like, alright, screw the round, I'll just try and deny their orb. Yeah. Because, I mean, if they... Like, if he had gotten the orb, they wouldn't have been able to replace it. Even though they're winning and get the money, they wouldn't have had enough. No. Definitely, I think a clever decision. I think you're absolutely right from from Arrow. He he would have been content to losing the round, but getting the kill on MS. Instead, he managed to uh, to not do that, and they still lost the round. So that was a bit annoying for him, probably. But he still saved his own AWP, and uh, they will actually still be able to buy. So four and one for Imaginary, finally claiming a uh, a map in this uh, matchup, and that's really nice. Now let's see if they can keep it up, though. They are aggressively over on a long, and Kibakum will actually take down Uzi. So. That's a bit of an early stop to that, and another kill for Kibakin coming in here, really nice. See if he can get a third one, he will do it. Third kill for Kibakin with that M4, really great. Fly will probably, no, he will actually go down to Major wow. in the middle. Didn't expect that. So three on two, maybe if MS or Major, they can pull something off here. MS, he's got the AWP, and that could really make a difference. Let's see it from his perspective. He's going to walk out here and find Arrow, but Arrow's oh, going to find yeah. him first. And Arrow Major even saw that. Yeah. He, he wants the ace, man. Oh yeah, I mean, technically it's doable, they're all down on A long and they have the bomb there, so he, he can be pretty sure that they're waiting for him at some point down there, but it's going to be really difficult once he gets over towards the pit. Surely Arrow will be waiting for him or someone else, missing that shot, down to 2 HP, and he's just going to run away with it, I think, yeah, 30 seconds left. wonder if they're going to land him or if they're going to try and look for him. Um, well... I think they're probably going to try and chase him down. There's 25 seconds, plus like 5 seconds of the, of the dead timer. Oh, nice! 
Yeah, really great. But now they know exactly where he is. He's, he's running as fast as he can. Kabekin is coming for him. Oh, Major. Really trying to get away here. And oh, no. Oh, no. We'll take him down. So currently five to one. Said nation, they kind of uh, they kind of made it back. Even though imaginary, they took a round off them. They just bounced right back and uh, putting imaginary in a tough situation. If we look at the scoreboard, sees is actually nine and three at the moment, and uh, followed closely by Kibakan with eight and uh, three. So really nice uh, for them. But it looks like uh, imaginary they're just struggling a little bit at the moment to find the correct uh, the correct form that we know that they can do. But um, not at the moment. Kibakan actually falling really aggressively up here. Might get uh, walked in on. No, they fall back and here he's come, he comes out and gets one kill. Can he get more? Yeah, we'll get another and a third one. And even a bit of lag on GoTV coming in then. So, um, a quick round. Just pistols on imaginary. So nothing too exciting. Now, um, now we'll be waiting to see what they can do. They've got rifles again. Shoxy, what is he going to buy? Has he bought anything yet? Yeah, there we go with the AK. So everyone buying on Imaginary and they really need to take this round or they will be in a lot of trouble. Six rounds yeah. on the TT side is actually pretty good already, so... And didn't they choose oh. to be terrorists, right? Yeah, they did. Seized oh, actually my. with the Max 7 and he will get the kill on Major, picking up the AK and Kibakan will get one too. Wow, Seized, that was, that was a fantastic play coming in from him. And great flash coming out. Really trying to get down MS, and he will do it in the, in the end. So, what a round from uh, oh, Set Nation! He really is showing us something unbelievable at the moment. And oh, what? Uzi, the birthday boy, how did he do how that? Did he do it good, lots and lots of practice. Yeah, but Ceased might come in here for the core kill. Definitely got that grenade, but I thought maybe he could see his head. Nice grenade! Wow, what a nice... Oh man. As soon as he sees he's dead, now it's just one left. Who is he? Can he do it? Can he make it a quad kill or is he gonna fall down to Kibakan here? Oh, he oh. will. On his birthday of all days, and actually Kibakan will just be defusing, so making it a seventh round in total for uh, Set Nation and Imaginary. Wow, you're right, they did choose to be terrorists, but it's just not working out for them as well as we could have expected. They definitely, um,. They definitely need to be doing a lot better, and maybe they are surprised too by just how well Set Nation are doing. Because I think Imaginary, they've been playing mostly like other European teams and not so much the Russians, maybe. So, um. Here we go. More pistols coming in. Major going down early on, and, um. Some flashes coming out, but I don't think it matters. Oh, I will actually matter a little bit, but Evil is in the pit. We'll get one kill, and, uh. Seize is coming in from behind. No, actually, still from uh, sorry, still from Aelong. We'll take down one fly with another kill, and uh, the only one left now is Uzi, and he will go down. So, did we make any predictions for this matchup? Um, we said it was going to be close, man, but it isn't looking close at the moment. Yeah, we definitely did say that, and um, I think I even I think I actually managed to say that uh, that I thought Imaginary was going to win. So. Can I can we like uh, get a message through them? I'll say that that they need to do something better than this, or they will make me look bad. Oh, MS with a great kill through the wall onto Siege, uh, Seized, and that's incredibly important. I mean, if I went uh, four on early on and Seized, he's been playing amazingly. So to take him out is obviously going to make a huge difference. Here we go. Kibakan actually defending this bomb site so well. Two quick headshots with the M4. Major, can he make it through here? Will get one kill on Arrow. Important as well. Fly now defending the middle. Two on three at the moment. So an uneven trade going on at the moment for Imaginary. Yeah, MS started well. But, oof, I don't know if they can do it. Evil's going to be in a great position, actually. They've got, the, they've got a minute left, so they have time for it. And Evil, if he pushes up to the B bomb site, but he won't do it just yet. He's waiting down here. In the smoke, and uh, maybe no, he didn't even see someone jumping past it. They're going to be surprised by this bomb plant, I think. There we go. Now they know exactly where it is, of course, and it's going to be all up to uh, to the to Uzi and MS to defend this properly. Now let's see if they can get it done. MS is looking at the through the tunnels, and uh, Uzi is covering that uh, that doorway. Oh, brilliant! What a great smoke! I oh, mean, yeah. people can come in. It completely denies that all. It really does, and Evil wow, will take really one nice down. Spray. Now they bring it down. Their message that yeah, they do. Another and kill for Evil, 
And now the bomb actually ticking away, but uh, oh my god, evil was like blocking. Three, two, it th dude, they can't get it. Oh Unbelievable. They both died. <laughs> dude, that was all because <laughs> evil didn't see the bomb. Like, so yeah. he blocked Kibake and getting to it, and evil ran away from it. Oh no, what, what yep. a mistake. That was really, that was really incredible and really, really funny as well. But I guess uh, you have to feel a little bit good about it if you are, um, if you're, you are wanting imaginary to do a bit better because how they needed that round a lot, even if they end up um, getting so close to losing it, almost. I mean, that block surely was the difference between a win and a loss. I think it was. Nothing more there. Arrow might be catch caught out here. Yeah, Shoxy coming in with a kill, and we really need to see Shoxy in action more. Man, he's such a great player, but I think feel like he hasn't been doing as well as he's uh, he's used to doing on this in this matchup. So let's see. They will take down Kibak, and Major will do that. And um, five on three at the moment. MS also with a kill on Fly. Great play from Imaginary at the moment, and even oh. the Go TV lag coming in. Yeah, I mean. CC's waiting here and he will get the kill on OC. Can he get more? No. Shoxy's gonna jump down and get him. Now Evil's in the pit and then. That's not a good situation for him. Just do they want to try and find him? I guess. Uh, oh, now they know must know where he is, and uh, our striker will be the one to to suffer for it. Yeah, I mean, everyone on Z Nation is really poor at the moment. So he's hoping with all his heart that he can keep this gun, and if he can get this kill, it will be really nice. But yeah, he's MS too really weak. wants oh. it. Oh, looking the wrong, way. the wrong way. And what? <laughs> oh, and they both survived, what a joke. You're meant to be pro, come on, guys. That, that was some strange jumping up on the barrels and everything, but... I guess uh, I guess that's just what happens. No one getting a kill then, but it is 8 of 3, and Imaginary may be starting to just come back into this match a little bit, and now is the time that they need to do it, because they won't have uh, too many rounds all left on the first half, so they need to do everything that they can at the moment. And actually look how uncharacteristic this is. We've got 5 and 10 at the moment for Shoxy at the bottom of the scoreboard. Major coming with a kill, and Shoxy going down in the middle. He's just not playing his uh, his most today, I feel like. And it is actually sort of an, you know, not it's not an, an eco round, but it's a sort of uh, yeah, it's like low budget mass, round like for uh, for mass, certain nations. Yeah. No, nothing. So if they can take this, it will be a gamble on their on their part, but it will be one that really pays off if they can manage to get the round. So um, one for one trade at the moment, and uh, imaginary maybe just regrouping and trying to see if they can uh, if they can come up with a new entry plan. MS is looking through the middle. Actually, let's see if we can see it from his view. He's about to find Kibak, and maybe if he walks through this door, he's going to be really careful. Can he do it? I oh, will do it. Ooh, really nice. nice. And um, that could be the thing that they need. Now they're going to the B-bomb site. Fly, he's going to be up here with the FAMAS. Can he get anyone when they're jumping through? Nice flashbang in there and actually looking in, but there are too many people in there. He needs backup at the moment before he can do anything. He will get taken down by Uzi, who is actually... No, that was MS in the middle. So now we're three on two, and uh, they are making their way over there. Evil coming in from the uh, from the tunnels, and striker is there. He will go down to Evil. Now it's Uzi turn to, Uzi's turn to face up against him, and he will take him down. Arrow coming in through the doorway, but it's one-on-one -on -one at the moment. So much riding on this for Imaginary, and Arrow is up on the box as well. This is really weird. Look at the smoke. I mean, it's funny. And Arrow will get it. No kit on him, though, so probably won't be able to get it, I think. Surely there isn't enough time. That, that Three, reason, two, there he's we go. This guy, he knows he's going to blow. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, looking in the direction that he was maybe going to fly. And Arrow will go down. So it's another complete... Like, everyone dies that round. But still the round going to Imaginary. The rounds that they get here, they're, they're, they are just on a uh, on an absolute uh, ledge. They're nothing to give. Just, a, you know, a few more, a little bit more damage in one way or the other. And, uh, and they will end up losing these rounds. So that's not optimal. But I guess a, one round is a one round at the end of the day. Now we've got pistols on said nations. That's actually a sign of uh, relief for imaginary that they've been managed. They've managed to claim enough rounds that they could push uh, said nation back to saving. Shoxy going down again with to just a pistol. I feel bad for Shoxy. I feel like he uh, he needs to put some cold water in his face and just uh, you know maybe he's been out drinking yesterday or something and he's just uh, you know waking up a bit. I hope that's true because they definitely need Shoxy to perform at his best if they want to win this. I feel. Oh, that headshot from Evil with the Deagle. 
completely that's the style of deagle everyone loves watching and it's just not been used so much lately he will end up reloading and that's not going to work major will take him down but that was a beautiful deagle headshot everybody loves to see those and it's actually four on three at the moment <laughs> that was a great grenade taking down kibakan and uh cease will go down to flies picked up a rifle so but they actually haven't cornered so they should be able to do this our striker that was actually a nice kill coming in from him so 8 to 5, and there are two rounds left at the moment. Albert, do you think they can get the last two and make it uh, 8 to 7 in total for the first half? I really hope so. I mean, they've actually done an incredible job coming back from 8 1, so no reason to say that they can't keep going. Yeah, I think that might be true, and I definitely hope it is because that will mean it will be so much closer. Seized actually not getting hit. Oh, he does get hit in the middle. Down to uh, 39 HP. That was a shot through the wall, and MS. Uh, Wielding that AWP in the other end of the map. Shoxy coming up here and wants to get a kill. There we oh, go onto Kibakan. That's the Shoxy that we want to see and he wants to keep going. Can he get even more? He is a confident player and he has every reason to be. Oh, what? <laughs> that was unbelievable. So precise, so beautiful. Oh, silly auto director, man. I want to see if Shoxy can keep this up. But Uzi will actually help him out down on A long and sees the only one left. That was some fantastic uh, plays coming in there. And Shoxy with the final oh. kill. Man. So maybe he's listening in on the stream and he wants to uh, he wants to prove me wrong. Just jumping right up with three kills then and actually uh, putting Ostriker in the bottom of the scoreboard. Man, I don't I shouldn't be laughing. But um, on the other hand, I mean he's got the uh, the most we've got is on on the imaginary side. That's ten on major and Kibakan and Seize, They're both on seventeen kills. That's, that says something about the, how good Set Nation they've done it on the CT side. Now here we go up on short shock, she will go down an error actually moving forward, he will even pick up the AK, that's so tactically fantastic play, Uzi will take down one, gets dropped right after so, and Fly will also get a kill. Oh man, now it's looking quite difficult for match mood, but even if they lose this, I think 9-6 is a score that they can definitely deal with. It, it, it probably is, I mean they won't be out of the game, it's not like it's going to be complete out of it, but they're really going to have to... Uh, to pull off some great uh, defense. Let's see. MS and Major, they haven't given up on this round at all. They want to see if they can uh, if they can bring it back home for them, but Seized is in a great position here and um, surely he will be... Oh, he actually gets flashed just at the right time and Major will take down Arrow, so maybe a bit of an opening here. Three on two at the moment, flashing out. Major coming into this beep of the same on side. No. Just not good enough and there we go. Seized will take down MS. Making it uh, 18 for 18 for the for Kibak and Assist, and uh, in total nine rounds for Set Nation and six for uh, for Imaginary. So good half says everyone. Uzi he's still in good mode, and and um, and that's obviously always a good sign. Now we've got this nice pause coming in, so I can get something to drink. And Albert, you can tell me if uh, what do you think the final score is going to be? Man, I think the final score is going to be 16-6 to Set Nation. Yeah? No, I'm kidding. That's ridiculous. I don't know, man. I think we might be seeing something like a 16-10, 16-11. And uh, I think Zid Nation aren't going to take it, though. I think they're looking really strong. Kabakan has seized both 18 kills, just playing so much better than anyone else in the game. Yeah, it's hard to overlook that, uh, the fact that they've been playing so well. And, uh, I mean, the rest of the Zed Nation players, their scores are, you know, comparable with the imaginary players. So uh, if you have two people just doing that much better, that really will make a difference. But I guess we'll have to find out now, because this is the second half coming in. Of course, this is Set Nation against Imaginary. We are on Dust 2 in the Star Series. And my name is Anders. You're watching the podcast and coasting with me is Albert. Hey, everyone. And look at it shooting through the middle this time. Really wants to see if they can get an early headshot, but seized. He's in the B-bomb site with incredible speed. They've got the bomb down there. This is a straight rush into the B-bomb site. No, no, actually... Um, not giving Imaginary even a, a split second of time to react. Yeah, and I mean, Imaginary, they uh, were doing a really uh, quite popular strategy. Everyone was standing in the middle, and that's where they still are now. Yeah. But no one was covering B, so it kind oh. of backfired. Yeah, Major coming in from behind will take down Fly. That's actually really important, but it's still going to be a tough retake this one. Arrow will take oh, down well, one, look. back in and seize. Look at it. Just a striker left. Yeah. He gets one kill, but surrounded. Yeah, that was not the start that Imaginary needed to this. It still doesn't mean that they're out of it, but it means they might very well lose the next two rounds, and that will put the score in total 12-6, to 6, so that's a real uphill battle. 
That was, um, I really do like that, that strategy. Going straight for B, I think you're right. Um, it is a popular strategy standing in the middle with the pistols out on the, on the CT side. And they, I think, um, said nation, they must have read well what imaginary were doing and they just decided to capitalize on it. They thought, okay, if you're gonna stand in the middle and try and shoot it out with us, we'll go straight for one of your bomb sites and, um, and it worked beautifully. Pushing up a little bit with Shock C and, uh, Ostriker. But not quite uh, making anything of it. Said nation, they're taking it slowly, not not wanting to get uh, get picked off. So um, look how careful sees this as well. Really just inching his way forward, and actually will find Shoxy. Take a bit of damage, but still get him down. Uzi and Major, the last two people left alive, and I don't know if there's much they could do all on their own. Maybe they could uh, could get in a single kill, but that's probably gonna be it. Now Major all alone, looking like a really tough matchup at the moment for Imaginary, just not what they were maybe prepared for, I guess, because um, I've seen them play some really good teams and do well, and um, even teams I think that can compare with said nation, so Major not impressed, I think he thought that he couldn't be spotted behind that pillar, but he could. <laughs> Pretty funny, so now we've got it going on guys. Still just pistols on Imaginary, and let's see if they want to do anything strange this round, or if they just want to keep it cool and um, and do their standard setup. They've got actually most people in mid, so maybe they're hoping someone is going to peek in here and fly, maybe yeah, the person to do that. Yeah, it looks like it might actually be the case. Here we go, Z Nation charging. There we go. Going down. So much pistol crossfire by Imaginary. Oh, but they pick off the striker, yes. and wow. That headshot was really nice. Yeah, it really was. MS reloading in the corner. Now let's see if uh, if they can make some more of it. Seize is flashing out. He's only on 26 HP, so they might be able to take him down, but... Kibakum will get a kill on Major. Now MS and Shoxy are the only two people alive, and uh, Shoxy gonna find pretty much the whole team will get taken down. Now MS will also go down to evil, so... That's going to be it, guys. That's the first three rounds of the f of the second half over, and now the fourth round where um, where Imaginary they can buy again, and they actually buy two AWPs, MS and Shoxy with one each. I think this may be their grandmaster plan at the moment. Try and simply orb Set Nation out of the map, and that can actually work. We've seen that done before. So um, see if the oh look how aggressive Shoxy is with the AWP in the middle. Everything riding on this, and he will get the early kill on. Can he get more than this? What a fantastic push, I really love that. Now pushing up on A long though is uh, the rest of the uh, Sed Nation squad and can they defend quickly enough? They've got it smoked off and now they're just going straight for it. I think they're even pretty close to being up in the site. Jump assisting shocks you up and he will get taken down. Major coming in, getting actually one kill but gets dropped right after. Three on three at the moment and the bomb's not quite down yet but it will be planted soon. Got imaginary, they need to move quick. And Arrow's in such a horrible position, he's just standing in the smoke. He knows there are people around him, but he can't see them. If he emerges yeah. from the smoke, he'll be shot. Ostriker going oh, down, no. and now MS the only one alive, and... Awful turn of events at the moment for uh, Imaginary. Error will get the final kill, not even being able to save that AWP, so... 13-6 to 6 at the moment, and said Nation, that might have been the, uh, the pivotal round in this matchup for them. A lot riding on it, on it for Imaginary. They got a great early kill, shot in the middle, taking out one person with the AWP, but they needed to do more and seized! Taking down Ostriker in the middle with the AK through the door. That was disgusting. Seized is just playing out of his mind at the moment. It's, uh, it's really in incredible. I just, I mean, taking yeah, out Shoxy as well. He's got 31 kills, like. It's <laughs> just so many. Major actually, oh, oh trying to God. almost knife, I think, when you're right looking at the scoreboard, 31 for 11, really, Mate, really great. I said 16, 6 is a joke, but I said Nation are coming awfully close to being able to do that. Yes, you're absolutely right, it, uh, your, your joke prediction might turn out to be correct, and uh, man, I cannot believe that Seize is doing this well, surely we will have, uh, oh, doing a lot of damage to Arrow in oh. the middle was, uh, was Shoxy then. Let's see. I mean, if they lose this round, imaginary, surely they will be all out of it. I mean, 
nothing left to do if they lose this one. So they really need to get an opening early, uh, an early opening kill that could uh, that can secure them some sort of early advantage and a bit of a lead. They've got two AWPs again, and I really think that is the correct thing to do here. I think they can make it work, but they just need the the early kills. 14 to 6, a lot of flashes coming in. MS with a headshot onto Evil, that was brutal. We'll get another one. MS defending like a champion, and Major coming in too, but he will get taken down. 4 on 2 and 4 on 1 at the moment. Seized. Yeah, but it is seized. Yeah, the. Oh, the He's hungry beast. for an ace, man. Come on. Come. No, Ostro could bring them down. Ruining well, that I'm for him. Hungry. Yeah, but still. Um, a good round there for uh, for imaginary. They do bring it a little bit closer, 14 to 7. So um, but how many did they save? Any of those AWPs? I think one of them maybe. And uh, it's, yeah, well, Shoxi definitely has an orb, and he's got quite some money. So yeah, uh, I don't know if it's, it was saved or not. But... Could be a really. I mean, it is it is an expensive round. If you lose two AWPs and uh, you can't save them, that's really really not good. So um. Take a look at Shox here in the middle, actually fighting out with a number of people. See if you can get any kills on anyone who's showing up here. There are a lot of people in the middle and he's waiting for them, hoping that someone is going to peek him. Look at that, they're just behind that crate. Here we go, Major actually getting two kills while we're watching here, that's really nice. Shoxy will go down in the middle to fly, but Major still pulling it in uh, quite a lot at the moment. Four and three, but nothing is settled yet. We've seen Sad Nation come back from this situation before, and there we go. Arrow getting down our striker. Back to a three on three. Forty-five seconds left. They've got the back, their backs against the wall. Imaginary. They can't uh, afford to lose anything. And look, the rotation coming in, and this is exciting because Seized can hear that. Look at Arrow and Fly. They're being told right now by Seize that there was a rotation to the B bomb site. That means they're going this way and Seize, look at where he is. Oh, waiting wow. for them. That's brilliant he was play. So patient, man. He was winning there for so long. Really, really fantastic play coming in. Two on two though, MS and Major, they're pretty low compared to Arrow and Seize, so um Gonna be gonna be all down to the headshots here. No no time for spraying or anything else like that. Flash is coming out, Arrow is going down into the pit even if they get seized down, but Arrow will actually take down one and now MS the only guy left alive, what can he really do? Seize. That's unbelievable, he's just playing so well, I mean what is his uh, what is his ratio at the moment? He's got a, a death, kill death ratio of, of 3 or something like that, that's really unbelievable, so um... 15 to 7 at the moment and Set Nation just one round away from taking this whole victory and I have to just quickly point, point, point out while we're waiting here what actually happened that round. The fact that Seize had got, had, had got himself pushed up over here meant that he could hear the rotation coming in from the imaginary players and that's one of the key features of Dust2 I feel like. There are a lot of maps where you can spot a rotation but not too many maps where you can actually hear one and uh, Dust2 is a map where you can do that if you're on the catwalk you can hear people running down in the CT spawn and he did that, so um, great. Early kill onto Major, really unfortunate for uh, Imaginary because they are hanging in this with uh, with just the, their nails basically. Shoxi will go down, Siege, the complete monster at the moment, will take down Uzi. And now MS, the last guy left alive, Albert, this is really looking this tough and uh, Evil will take him wow. down. What an impressive uh, performance from Set Nation. Yeah, and a really important one I think as well because Obviously, because this is a league, your round difference can actually make a big, uh, big difference at the end. Like, it could be the difference between going to Kiev and, and just being knocked out. So, yeah, uh, absolutely. Winning this game by what I think most people would agree is a 